Hello, my name is Jonathan DeRosa, and I'd like to welcome you to my screencast regarding Trunk Notes. Trunk Notes is an app that is perfect for organizing notes, thoughts, data, and much more. I'll be using the app on my iPad for this screencast. So let's get started by first clicking on the app icon, which is located on the bottom right of this folder titled SCSU Apps. After clicking on the app, we are brought to the Trunk Note homepage. If we want to learn more about how the app works and what it can do before we get started, we'll click on the link labeled Docs Getting Started. This link takes us to a new page, which talks about basic operations of trunk notes, how to use images, and how to use sounds in your notes. Now let's get started on taking some notes. We do this by clicking on the new button in the top left hand corner. Once we do that, the drop down menu comes down that gives us the option to create a new page, copy a cur the current page, add sound recording, or add an image. We will click on page in order to create a new blank page. For the purpose of time, I have already entered a note on our first page using the iPad keyboard. As you can see on the top of the note, it automatically records the day, date, and time of the most recent edit. In order to demonstrate how to bind notes together, I have also created a second page. Each note is automatically saved in the app. Let's take a look at how to easily blend the two notes. First, we click on the pencil directly above the keyboard. Once we click this pencil, another drop down menu appears. The pencil gives us the option to clear the text, insert a link to another page, insert an image, or add our current location when taking the notes. We will add a link to another note page by clicking on insert link to. Once we click on insert link to, the menu will pop up asking to select a note page that was previously created. We will click on the last note titled 13 underscore 10 underscore 2014 underscore 1. After clicking on the note that we want to create a link to, the link will appear on that note page. We can click on this link at any time to get to our first page of notes. We can also use trunk notes to add images to our notes. Once again, we will click on the pencil to see the necessary menu. If we, if we click on image from camera, it will bring the iPad to camera mode and prompt us to take a new picture. However, we can click on image from library to add a picture that is already in our photo library. This is what I have done for this screencast. After clicking on image from library, I was brought to the photo library on my iPad. I chose a picture from my son's first birthday party, which is now embedded on our first page of notes. If we wanted to add sound to this note, we can do that by clicking on New in the upper left corner and selecting Sound Recording. Our other options, like I previously mentioned, would be to continue typing notes under the image, copying the page, or adding another image. Finally, if we click on the arrow pointing to the right in the bottom right hand corner, we have some additional options. We can email this note to another person, we can share the note using the internet, or sync it to a Dropbox account if we have one. As you can see, Trunk Notes is a very useful app to take notes and organize them. This is just a quick introduction to Trunk Notes. Thank you for watching my screencast.